Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Steve Smith. I'm the editor of PHC News Magazine, and we're coming to you from the HR Expo in Chicago. And I'm telling you, anyone looking at this, just from the color alone, is knowing that we're at the DeWalt booth. And I'm talking to Justin Burke. Justin, thank you for yeah, inviting Steve, us. Steve, thanks for coming. What are kind of trends that you see out there, yeah. and how are you helping contractors? Yeah, absolutely. So I it kind of alluded to it a little bit, but we tried to help our end users do their job more safely. So safety is obviously a huge trend, and rightfully so. Uh, focusing on the safety of all of our professionals in the field is front of mind whenever we're going through our new product development processes. Um, because there's nothing more important than that at the end of the day, right? Uh, so all the safety trends in the industry with the heating, cooling, and plumbing industry, that's very important with specific uh, you know, types of workflows and specific types of jobs. And so some of our solutions we'll talk to you today really address that need. Uh, but then efficiency as well, right? So the need for more efficient solutions for these professionals in the field. Why is that? Because we all know there's labor shortage issues in exactly. this industry and within our field, right? Um, so these are highly skilled, highly talented folks who, uh, you know, maybe the, the there's a shortage in the pipeline of these folks coming into the industry. So how can we help speed up their day so that they can do what they do best um, and, you know, install and repair these systems, manage their materials? Um, so that's really, we're focusing on some of those trends right there. Uh, you know, we'll get to, into some more specific trends, uh, but those are kind of some overarching themes. All right, that we're very seeing. good. Now there's some new products yes. for the plumbing and heating business yeah. that you're unveiling here at the show. Yeah, absolutely. So a handful of new products that we're really excited to unveil this week, specifically at AHR. Nobody has seen them prior to this unless they were involved in the development process with us, right? Uh, so a couple things for the heating and cooling industry specifically, right? Heating and cooling pros, a lot of them, especially within the refrigeration world, work a lot with soft copper tubing. With managing soft copper in the field for these professionals in the heating and cooling industry, soft copper has been around for a long time, obviously, and uh, a traditional application within that is swedging or expanding soft copper. So what we've introduced is a 20 volt solution, a solution on our 20 volt platform that can expand soft copper tubing in just a matter of seconds. What I have here is our brand new, you know, first unveiling of our 20 volt max copper swedge tool. What this tool will do is it is capable of expanding one quarter inch soft copper up to inch and five eighths. So we have different heads that will thread onto the front of this tool for every size of copper, quarter inch to inch and five eighths. So I can demo this here to show you how quickly and efficiently this tool can create swedged connections or really a expansion so that a swedge connection can be made, right? Because then the HVAC technician needs to then make their braze join after the expansion is made. So what I have here is a uh, three eighths inch soft copper. And what we've done with our smaller diameter heads, such as one quarter inch, three eighths, is we have this adjustable collar mechanism right on the front here. So you can see that there is a first position in a second position. So when I make my initial expansion, I'll start in the first position. For number two, I'll transition over to the second position, and then I'll finish the expansion at that point. So starting at the first position, you can take your soft copper, insert your, your tool, make sure it's not on lock, and then run it a couple times. So you make a partial expansion and then you swap over to your second position, like I said before, and you can finish that joint. So you can see just in a matter of seconds, I was able to make a even clean expansion in soft copper. Once you get to the half inch size and above, you no longer need this collar mechanism and you can make your expansion in one go of the expansion. You don't have to hit it with a first and a second, you can just set it, put it in the tool, expand it, and you're good to go. And that's because, again, the smaller diameters tend to crack more easily. And so this adjustment collar helps with that cracking, reduces the cracking overall. We're continuing on the soft copper management theme. We talked about the copper swedging tool. Now I wanna show a newer installation method, press to connect fitting for the refrigeration copper industry. And so what we're announcing here and showing for the first time are these jaws for the Nivco Press ACR system. You can see this Press ACR fitting that I have right here. 
and then the DeWalt jaw for the Nibco Press ACR system that fits into the DeWalt Compact Press Tool, which we announced and launched last year. So we can see a quick demo of this. What's unique in the ACR press fitting world is that the profile of the fitting is unique to each fitting manufacturer. So you have to make sure that the jaw that you're using is designed specifically for the fitting manufacturer um, from the particular fitting manufacturer that the jaws are rated for. A um, little bit different dynamic than in the plumbing press to connect industry. So take your fitting, you can put it on the end of the soft of your ACR copper, cycle the tool, wait for it to cycle all the way through, and then now you have a secure refrigeration connection um, for your, your soft copper installation. Next, switching over to our plastic piping solutions, right? How do you be more efficient with your plastic piping? You know, maybe more, more relevant to plumbers than to HVAC techs. What we are unveiling and showing for the first time is our 20 volt max XR, inch and a half PEX expansion tool. Uh, so this tool will allow you to very efficiently and quickly install up to one and a half inch expansion style PEX. So this is now the industry's lightest inch and a quarter and inch and a half PEX expansion tool. And I will go ahead and do a quick demonstration of it expanding one inch PEX. So you wanna make sure that the PEX butts up against the end of the PEX expansion head right here. You will take your fitting, insert your fitting, and now because of the compression sleeve on the PEX, that is compressing back or rather retracting back down over the fitting to create a secure plumbing connection. So again, a 20 volt solution from DeWalt for your piping installation needs. And now that uh, adds to our PEX expansion tool portfolio. You know, we have our up to one inch PEX expander and now our up to inch and a half PEX expansion tool to allow you to efficiently install PEX piping on the job site. How do you guys come up with some of these ideas? Yeah. How do you, how do you, more importantly, I guess, I'm thinking, how do you get the contractor's perspective when you guys think about these ideas? Yeah, yeah, great question. And it really starts, like you said, Steve, with the contractor. So uh, that's where we only are going to develop products that really solve a need for the contractor at the end of the day. So it starts with working hand in hand with our, our contractors, right? And um, really, looking at their workflows. What are they doing every single day? What materials do they have to manage? What storage um, constraints do they have in their vehicles or on the job site? You know, where, where are their pain points that are presenting themselves? And how do we, uh, you know, as a partner with them, try to come up with ideas and solutions that can help solve that pain point. I assume, you know, you're going to job sites. Is there any kind yes. of like contractor council or? You know, as of right now, there's not necessarily any formal program or system for contractors to be a part of. And since, as you know, right, we, we have tools that span all of the trades, really. And, and, and a lot of the trades are so unique from one another that really it takes us, you know, as product managers and then our engineering team to develop connections and relationships with contractors at various job sites, at various prefabrication facilities uh, to start working with them. It speaks to uh, the number of great people that we have in this industry. There's always folks that want to help out, right? There's always folks that want to try to sol help solve those problems together and come up with new solutions uh, that are going to help push the industry you know, into the next phase. You got some competitors, you got other tool makers, but what do you think sets the wall apart from those other guys? Yeah. Thanks for that question, Steve. So a number of things, but one I really want to, uh, you know, focus on since we're at AHR, right? Air conditioning, heating, and refrigeration. Within the mechanical trades as a whole, within the pipe trades, all of these solutions are on truly, you know, one system. Our 20 volt max system, which we're very, very proud of, you yes. know, high performance, high quality solutions that are all on this one system. So back to that workflow discussion with the end user, they have their needs. They have to solve all of these different problems in their installations and, and their repairs. One less thing they need to be thinking about is swapping out batteries between different solutions and uh, different tools and charging this 12 volt versus this 20 volt. So all of our plumbing, heating and cooling solutions from a power tool standpoint, right, all on our 20 volt max system. So a lot of things going on at DeWalt 